Today we are in an area that we have never been before. This is Northcliffe and we are showcasing you a very, very artistic house at a price point that I don't think we'll ever see before. You get so much in this house with so much character at such an affordable price point. This is a 3,250,000 rand home, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. So come with me up these stairs past this beautiful fountain as I show off all of the characters and quirks this house offers. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Here we are walking through this beautiful solid wood door. We find ourselves in the entrance hall. Entrance hall's got a lot to talk about. The first thing is I love the high ceilings. All the lighting is recessed into the ceiling, giving you plenty of downlight. In front of me, wall to wall windows, and these windows are also floor to ceiling windows. So you get so much of those incredible views that Northcliffe is known about. But let's start right at the beginning, and the beginning would have to be this section over here. Now this bathroom includes your single vanity, mirror above it, toilet tucked away in the corner, and also again, tiles stacking all the way up to that high ceiling. I love that your guest bathroom is located there because if you do turn the area outside into an entertainment area, it's perfectly located to service that. Now that we've covered that really cool, unique and quirky entertainment area, here we are walking back through the entry hall. The entry hall's got another particular feature I'd like to mention, that is these glass bookshelves built in and in front of a mirror wall. So it's making the room look a lot bigger and it's also a perfect place to store your book collection. And here we are within your dining room area. Although this could be whatever you'd like. This home is made in such a way that you can chop and change a lot of the facets of the rooms to suit your needs and to suit your desires. So right now, dining room area again, the continuation of the really high ceilings. We've got wall to wall windows here. You can see behind here, all windows. And that is your very own private garden and pool area. And right over here, I've got to show you again, wall to wall windows and take a look at the view. Again, we're on the Northcliffe Mountain. So you've got unobstructed views all the way down across Cresta. I'd say all the way down to Rampart Ridge and maybe even four ways. Plenty of space here for whatever kind of tables and, and dining room setups you'd desire. Over here we've got a wall that you can turn into a feature wall and I think it would look stunning if you do turn that into a feature wall. And behind here, a cool little addition, another quirk, and that is your very own bar area. So you've got this whole laid out, whole area laid out as a bar area with a built-in countertop right here and windows in front of you. Imagine if you had to turn these into slidable, stackable glass windows. You'd have such a beautiful view as well as breeze just cruising through here while you enjoy a drink. Can you imagine the views in the evening, specifically during sunset? So now we've covered the dining room area. We've spoken about the bar area. So coming out of your dining room area, you find yourself within your own private patio. And this patio is incredibly spacious, not only at this price point, but within condominiums built like this. I love that you've got your own pool and one that could be so easily heated. So we've spoken a bit about this, but I want to leave more of the outside area as a surprise and we will definitely come back to it because right now, let's walk back inside past this sliding door again, floor to ceiling glass windows. You've got an area here that you can customize into another coffee nook or maybe even a breakfast corner because right here is your kitchen. And I think kitchen access is key in any home and this home has luckily got it positioned perfectly between either the dining room being centered there or the dining room being centered where your current lounge area is. And we'll show you that in a moment because right now, let me speak about the scullery. The scullery, you've got your double sink, water filter built in space for all your appliances and plumbing there as well. 
And then if you do turn the first room we showed you, the room where your guest bathroom is, into an entertainment area, this door right here opens outwards and gives you access to that, which I think is also quite a cool addition. Over here, we've got a built-in generator for this home. Your generator is housed in your garage, double car garage that is extra wide as well as extra long, so you can fit in your bicycles or any other activities you might have, maybe even customize some of that as storage space. But let's talk about the remainder of this kitchen. We've got your center island right here, glass countertops. Not very often we see glass countertops. Really cool, artsy piece down below. Not giving you any storage space, but really making this room feel a little bit cooler, feel a little bit more special because we've got so much storage space, both above and below all the other countertops. Five top gas burner right here, as well as gas oven. Really, really nice, clean piece. We've got an oven here, microwave, as well as some drawers down below, as well as display cupboards dotted throughout here that you can show off some of your nicer crockery or some of your nicer uh, glass collections. Above us, we've got plenty lighting. But when it comes to lighting, I really think this section here is key. We spoke about glass being on the roof, but take a look above us, frosted glass, glass on either side. And right in front of me, if you can hear the crackling of my cameraman, you have your very own outside herb area with your own water feature right there. Can you imagine that trickling away while you're whipping up a meal? I love that there's extra space here. I think I'd throw a table right here and this is where you're gonna be having your breakfast. I love that you can see all along the outside area. And I'd say hidden away or special garden areas is another key design element of this home. And we're gonna show you another one now that's really cool. Over here, we've got a prep sink, a chef sink with another water filtration tap got beautiful plug points dotted throughout so if you do need them they're there for you to access but come along let's take a look at the lounge area we've definitely been missing out on that but right now I think it's time to show you the lounge area because we've yet to come to that part of the video on my left hand side easily the coolest feature of this whole lounge area and that is floor to ceiling glass frameless wall looking out not only over your patio and that really spacious patio but giving you that incredible view that I think only Northcliffe and Northcliffe Hill can provide and here we are spacious lounge lots of space for you to put in an L-shaped couch or even a full lounge suite on the wall right here we've got two wall sconces providing feature light with, with a bulkhead ceiling providing ample downlight should you wish it and I think this wall makes a perfect place for you to mount your LED or plasma television right there sit back and enjoy a movie and enjoy some quality time with friends and family while you see the lighting. Oh, can you imagine the night lights coming through that window with all of the houses sloping down Northcliffe Hill. Now down this way is all the bedrooms. The first one we're gonna come to is the master bedroom, the creme de la creme, which means we're gonna have to leave it for last. Let's take a look at the other two bedrooms and we'll come right back to this one. So coming down this hallway is where you're gonna find two of the three bedrooms that we're gonna talk about first, but let's talk about this bathroom here. This bathroom is gonna be servicing these two bedrooms. Your bathroom is as eclectic as the rest of the house. You'll find a full-on slit, almost arrow slit window running the length of the bathroom just to the left of the bathtub. That's a sunken bathtub, single vanity, mirror above it, plenty of undercounter storage below it. Then you come to your toilet with a frosted glass window and a fully walk-in shower. Coming out of the bathroom, you've got your linen closets on the right hand side and then here it is, the first bedroom of this home, 3,250,000 rand, cupboard space behind me as well as a nook either for a TV or if you'd like to do some work from home, here it is, built in desk, quite a large room, quite a spacious room specifically for homes like this, you can see above us more of the lighting built into the ceiling and then right over here you'll see there is space for a desk built into the recess of the wall, bed on the left hand side with some really cool glass elements making up a featured wall and a window on the right hand side covered up right now with a set of blinds. Then we come into our second bedroom. So all the bedrooms including the living areas do have floor heating, underfloor heating. Here are the dowels right here. This is the second bedroom. We're gonna be heading off to the master suite, the creme de la creme in a moment, but here it is again lighting recessed into the ceiling. We've got that feature of glass cubes 
I have to say glass bricks running both sides just giving you a little bit more natural light coming through but also providing you some privacy it's quite cool we haven't seen it before but I do like that it was included in this home like I said this home's ultra quirky but really such a steal not only in this location but providing you this kind of amenities and outdoor space a repeat of the cupboards over here with some space for you to work should you need it you can see laptop sitting right here chair sliding underneath but the room is big enough for a separate desk as you can see right here so I do like that the rooms are spare spacious enough and yeah we've got a sliding door leading out onto that really cool garden that I was talking about take a look at how large this garden area is over here I love that this house has this really I've never seen a home built in in such a manner and providing you with with so many different options having such a massive garden there's the pool over there and I mean you can do with this whatever you want. If you'd like to turn it into lawn, you can. If you'd like to make this another outdoor entertainment area, throw up a gazebo, maybe even throw in a jacuzzi, you can do it. I mean, you can even extend the pool. How cool would that be? Love that it's done. We've got sliding doors over there, leading into the main bedroom's ensuite bathroom. Sliding doors over here and around the corner, leading into the main bedroom's actual bedroom area. So I think let's pop around the corner. Let's go and take a look at what the creme de la creme, the master suite of a 3,250,000 rand home right here in Northcliffe looks like. Let's take a look. And here it is, one of the two sliding doors that I mentioned that come into the main bedroom. I love how spacious this is, but what really makes this a killer feature is you get to sleep right there and have that view. Looking across the pool really makes you feel like you're living somewhere Oh, somewhere definitely unique, somewhere like the Hollywood Hills. It's kind of the view you'd expect from it. So I love that they've included this here and that they've made this the master bedroom. So often they put them in the back, and try and make them extra big, where yeah, you get a lot of space, but you get killer, killer views. This room has a fan, has more of that down lighting built into the ceiling. As I mentioned, those two sliding doors, so much space on the left hand side with plug points for you to have a little reading nook, maybe a coffee area, a makeup stand over here for you to use, or even a desk if you do want to work rather from your bedroom. And talking about working, this home comes with its very own servants' quarters. They're located downstairs by the garage, and right now they're big enough and spacious enough to convert into a home office, and that's what they're being used for. So if you don't want to use one of the bedrooms as a work from home area, if you don't want to use one of the living areas, you can have the servants' quarters basically done up and used exclusively for that purpose right here. You've got your walk-in closet, plenty of cupboard space dotting both of the walls. Love how that's done and included in there. But here it is, the main ensuite bathroom. Let's talk about it. This main ensuite bathroom's got your walk-in shower, your sunken bathtub right here in the corner. Obviously this sliding door right here, giving you access to the outdoor area. If you want it, you can use it maybe just to get a bit of a breeze in here, relax in that bathtub and enjoy your herb garden. Double vanity, under counter storage, massive mirror running almost the length of the wall and your toilet's tucked away right here. Love the tiling throughout the home, really cool nifty feature or like a little quirky artsy feature. Again, the lighting built into the ceiling. We don't have any of the hanging lights taking up space. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have summed up this home, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, right here on Northcliff Hill. Love how it's been done. But many of you might be asking yourselves, Chad, I want to purchase this home. This is a steal and I really think it is a steal with a view like this. Whoa! I mean, this is incredible. So how would you purchase it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the details as well as the email address and contact numbers of the agents from Harcourt are all on the screen right now. So contact them because I don't think this is going to stay on the market for much longer. But then, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. For myself, Chad Viveros from the team at Private Property, thank you so much for once again joining us on the Home Shopper Show. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for a home, maybe one as quirky as this one, one as big as the homes we usually showcase on this show, or anything in between, visit www.privateproperty.co.za because we amalgamate every single listing from every single estate agent across South Africa in one easy to search and easy to find place that's www.privateproperty.co.za. That's all from me. We love you and goodbye.